हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सिविल विद सुधीर सो माय सब सुधीर जुरो में सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द लेबोरेटरी टेस्ट ऑन द सेकंड पार्ट ऑन कंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ सीमेंट लेबोरेटरी टेस्ट ऑन कंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ सीमेंट एंड इनिशियल सेटिंग टाइम ऑफ सीमेंट एंड फाइनल सेटिंग टाइम ऑफ सीमेंट राइट सो दिस थ्री टेस्ट द प्रोसीजर हाउ यू हाउ टू कंडक्ट द एक्सपेरिमेंट इन द लेबोरेटरी as well as what are the different steps you have to maintain and what are the steps you required okay so please subscribe to my channel to get my latest notification as well as click on the bell icon to get the latest videos of my channel okay thank you friends let's begin so consistency of cement first you should understand so what do you mean by consistency of cement in simple words we can say consistency means the how much the cement will consistent with different uh, environmental conditions and consistency we will calculate in the percentage okay consistency in the simple word we can say amount of water required to make a standard cement paste okay how much amount of water you required to make a uh, standard cement paste okay you can see the basic aim is to find out the water content right basic aim is to find out the water content required to produce a cement paste of standard consistency as specified by this is a code is 4031 part 4 1988 right this is a code right the as per this code they we will conduct the experiment in the laboratory right the principle is that the standard consistency of cement is that consistency at which the wicket plunger okay we can see the wicket plunger means the name of the apparatus okay for conducting consistency of cement as well as initial setting time as well as final setting time okay you require this apparatus for all three test only you will use single instrument that is wicket apparatus okay we will discuss the wicket apparatus in the next slides about their description and how it will work right so plunger penetrates up to 5 to 7 mm from the bottom of a wicket mold okay so what is wicket mold what is plunger we will see later discuss later right so consistency is nothing but the quantity of water required to make is standard cement paste right next this is an wicket apparatus okay you can see there is two sketches one is front view and this is side view right so this i will explain first front view you can see this is a this is a needle right this is needle and you can see this is a screw right this is screw for to set up the different type of needles okay for for normal consistency you will use plunger and for initial setting time you will use an initial setting time the square needle and you can see here you can see this is a plunger okay the dimension of the plunger you can see 50 mm height and 10 mm dia plunger for standard consistency and this needle is for final setting time okay you can see the dimensions also enlarged view of this needle okay this needle is for final setting time and you can see this needle okay you can see in the this sketch this is a inish for the initial setting time of cement okay while coming to the this is wicket apparatus in the front view you can see this is needle and this is a screw you can fit right you can change the needle according to your up, according to your experiment if you are you if you are uh, conducting uh, normal consistency you have to use the plunger right so if you are using initial setting time you have to use the initial setting time needle okay for three different test there is a three different needles or a plungers okay this is the first very important point after that you can see at the bottom you have a non porous plate this is non porous plate on that right you have a mold the size of mold you can see in the side view 80 mm right 80 mm width and depth is 40 mm right so this is the dimension of the mold right and you can see there is an releasing pin as well as the indicator okay these all dimensions are in mm millimeter right these all dimensions are in millimeter 
and this is a releasing okay you can see in the side view this is a movable rod of weighing 300 grams weight right after that you can see this is a frame right and this is about the specification of wicket apparatus wicket apparatus is used for normal consistency for initial setting time and final setting time all three all three tests are conducted using this apparatus with a different type of needles okay let next we will see yeah yes you can see the different types of needles used for testing okay you can see this needle is used for finding the initial setting time of cement right this one okay i will write here the number one this is for the initial setting time and second one is for needle with annual uh, annual annular attachment used in final setting time of cement okay this is for final setting time and at the last okay this is second one right and third one this is plunger used for normal consistency right whatever be the test you are conducting you have to use three different needles for the testing right next one procedure to determine consistency of cement okay you can see the original picture of the wicker apparatus okay it will looks like this right and you can see the different molds okay this is a mold and these are the different three different needles okay this is for final setting time this is for normal consistency this is plunger and this is needle right for initial setting time you can see the glass plate right so procedure for conducting the consistency of cement is right first you have to take 400 grams of cement right and mix it with a weighed quantity of water how you will calculate the quantity of water by using the formula okay by, by using the thumb rule we can say by start adding water by 25 percent okay you may arise the question why we have to add only 25 percent of the quantity of the cement okay you can see in the first step this is the first step take 400 grams of cement and weight quantity the time of gauging should be three to five minutes okay what do you mean by gauging means the time of mixing when you add water to the cement okay within three to five minutes you have to complete your mixing process right so that you will get the uh, total uh, gauging time within three to five minutes and next next point starting adding water for 25 percent 25 percent why okay because if you started from five percent the quantity of cement what you have taken okay it will not set it will not satisfy it will not mix with the the required quantity of uh, cement okay if you take on 400 grams if you take on five percent of water it will not mix very dry very dry paste okay for that we will start by 25 percent okay and after that 25 percent of 400 grams and that after that you can see the weight of the weight of cement and increase with two percent why not one percent why not 0.5 percent means if you increase one percent by one percent the result will not vary okay if you increase two percent some variations it will show that's why we have to take 25 percent 27 percent 29 percent up to 31 percent not only up to 31 percent we have to go on increasing okay our uh, first fill the wicket mold okay third point fill the wicket mold with the paste and level it with the trowel right sorry okay this is a mold we have to fill that paste okay what you have prepared the paste first you have to place this glass plate on this wicket mold okay you have to fix the plunger okay this is a plunger you have to fix this plunger in this uh, plunger needle rod okay using this screw you have to fit after that place this glass plate on the wicket apparatus after that place this mold right fill all the mold with the cement paste and and lower the plunge gently to touch the next point is touch the cement surface okay after filling this we have to remove the air for removing the air you have to shake the mold with the glass plate slightly in all the direction okay you have to slightly move 
in all the direction to remove the air okay after that you have to touch gently the the plunger should be released okay plunger should be released from the releasing point okay you can see releasing point is at this point slightly you have to release and you have to touch the cement paste after that right next point release the plunger allowing it to sink into the paste right you have to remove the releasing pin okay it means the needle will penetrate directly in the cement paste okay after few seconds you have to take the reading okay where you have to take you have to take reading here right so what is the depth of penetration we call it as that is the depth of penetration from the bottom of the mold okay initially you will get 25 26 27 or 28 or 30 okay you have to repeat this procedure until the depth of penetration is 5 to 7 mm okay you can see you have to note the reading on the gauge next point and next repeat the above procedure to take the fresh sample of cement and different quantities of water until the reading on the gauge is 5 to 7 mm okay so for 5 to 7 mm penetration how much quantity of water you have added okay that is the normal consistency of cement okay you did not know what is the quantity of water you required right and how you will write the result means express the amount of water as a percentage of weight of dry cement to the first place of decimal right it means so weight of the sample you have taken for example 100 grams for that you have to add 35% if you taken 400 grams you have to add uh, how much you got the normal consistency you have to add that much amount of water to make a standard cement paste right this is about the normal consistency next is initial setting time right my dear friends you already know the specification of this wicker apparatus this is about the releasing point this is about the reading taken the mold and glass non porous plate that is glass plate right and this is a movable rod and this is a very important point right needle used for finding the initial setting time of cement okay this needle is used for initial setting time of cement and this plunger is used for normal consistency and this is for final setting time okay first you should understand so what do you mean by setting time right and in setting time you have a two types setting time you have a two types or a two classification initial and final right in so setting time means how much time the cement will take to set after adding the water okay after adding water how much time it will take to set and harden that is about the setting time right we have a two different initial setting time now we will see initial setting time is a time elapsed between the moment water is added to the cement to the time at which the paste starts losing its plasticity okay the time the moment water is added to the cement up to the time the moment the cement will lost its plasticity okay so next we will see the procedure to determine the initial setting time of cement okay apparatus is same we cut apparatus but important point you will take this needle for the testing okay we have to attach this needle to the we cut mold right so first step again you have to take the cement and here important point is amount of water how you have to calculate okay the amount of initial setting time Of, of water is depends on the normal consistency of the cement what you calculated earlier right so that a prepare a cement paste by gauging the cement with 0.885 times the water required to give a paste of standard consistency this is a very important point right so how much you got the normal consistency that value you have to use here right if you got 35% you have to multiply this 0.85 times of that 35% with the quantity of cement what you have added and you will get the quantity of water this is a very earlier and very first step you have to take care after that start a stopwatch the moment water is added to cement okay why you have to start the stopwatch means to identify or to know the gauging time gauging time means the moment you water added to the cement 
up to the cement is cement paste is prepared within 5 minutes you have to prepare the cement paste okay it should not exceed uh, more than 5 and less than 3 minutes right so that's why we have to take care about that gauging time right third step fill this wicker mold okay this wicker mold fill this wicker mold first you have to place the glass plate at the bottom right and second step you have to put the mold in this position before that first you have to attach the needle this needle okay attach this needle to this wicker mold okay using the screw button you have a screw button here release this and out of this or uh, attach this needle that is initial setting time needle and put the cement the cement paste prepared cement paste in this mold up to the top okay after filling that remove the any air presence by shaking with the glass plate okay in all the direction after that right after that place the test block under the rod rod bearing the needle right you have to place this you have to place this mold in this needle just below this one okay just below this one you have to place here after that you have to release this point okay you have to touch first you have to touch this top cement paste okay cement paste surface you have first you have to touch that point after that you have to release this moveable rod okay to freely penetrate into the cement paste right and at what time you have started this experiment okay when you started to when you started this releasing point okay that time you have to consider a zero minute okay after releasing it for the same paste in the and you have to you have to change the diameter you have to change the position okay for example this is the mold top view okay first you have taken the sample here and you have penetrated for first time or a first zero minutes after zero minutes you have again you have to take the reading after 15 minutes okay you can take a 10 minutes also but there is no variations you have to take for 15 minutes right the you should not take at the same point okay what you have taken for the zero minute right you have to change the position of the this mold okay you have to just slightly you have to rotate right you have to take here and this is first point this is second point this is zero 15 minute 30 minute right 45 minute 60 minute how much time it will take to penetrate up to 5 to 7 mm from the bottom of the mold okay first you will get uh, zero after that you will get 10 or 15 whatever you will get the result you have to write in a tabular column right right so this is about the initial setting time now this is about the next points that is repeat the procedure until the needle fails to penetrate up to 5 to 0.5 mm measured from the bottom of the mold right so the result how you have to write at the last means the initial setting time to penetrate the needle the initial needle from 5 to 7 mm how much time it will take okay that is a initial setting time of that cement okay usually we will consider 30 minutes for, for the opc ordinary portland cement will take initial setting time is 30 minutes right next one final setting time of cement okay so what do you know final setting time of cement is a time elapsed between the moment water is added to the cement to the time at which the paste has completely lost its plasticity and attain sufficient firmness to resist some definite pressure okay i will tell you in simple word initial at initial level cement will not ready to take any type of load after 1 hour 2 hour 3 hour 4 hour or after 10 hours okay the cement is ready to take some few pressure or semi pressure okay so that pressure or that load when it will take when the cement will takes place the final setting time or a final setting of that cement in the final position of the cement use okay that is about the final setting time definition next the procedure to determine the final setting time of 
cement correct you can see this is the needle is used for the final setting time of cement right so you have to attach this needle to the wicker tappers to get the final setting time of cement right so what is the procedure means sorry right procedure for conducting the final setting time okay this is about the initial but you can see only the sketch for final again you have to remove the needle and you have to attach this needle okay you can see this needle you have to attach the wicker mold after the initial setting time only the same mold okay what you have used for the initial setting time after okay it may take 45 minutes after the 45 minutes only what is the paste you have used for initial setting time you have to start from that that cement paste also or you can take fresh one also right for that you have to use this needle and you have to start for 0 minute okay 0 minute right if you taken for the fresh cement what will happen it will penetrate okay so when is no impression okay you can see this is the needle with anular attachment okay this will compress the cement paste okay when there is no impression on the cement paste okay up to that time you have to conduct this experiment okay when there is no impression okay when the initial if you have mixed the cement paste there is an penetration also and there is an impression also right up to complete time okay either it may be take 10 hours or 12 hours okay you have to goes on increase the conducting the final setting time right so for for that we are using for the initial setting time what we use the cement paste that we are using for final setting time of cement right so replace this needle by the one with with the angular attachment the cement should be considered as finally set when upon the applying the needle gently to the surface okay so when you have to start from zero you have to take by half an hour or every 30 minutes you have to take the reading 30 minutes okay one hour one and half hour okay two hours you have to take the reading and you have to check on the cement paste okay for example this is a mold right first you have to tested here right you have to check the impression of the cement paste if there is impression you have to write in the remarks column right after that you have to increase goes on you have to increase after that okay after that for the 60 minutes right after the 60 minute or after one and half hour after two hour you have to see every reading you have to see on the surface right after that uh, when there is no impression on the cement paste that is the final setting time of the cement right so thank you thank you one and all my dear friends if you have any doubt about the procedure as well as any doubt about the cement part cement topics or any doubt about the concrete as well as any topics on civil engineering please comment me in the comment box so that i will make for next video for you thank you thank you one and all my dear friends